In the window is an assembly containing a grounded hinge body and a free-floating hinge pin that needs to be constrained to it. In this exercise, you will constrain the pin to the hinge body using the Between Two Faces option of the Joint command. Begin by selecting the Joint command. On the ribbon, Assemble tab, Relationships panel, select the Joint command. The joint type is automatic by default. For this exercise, leave it that way. The first origin indicator is active. Select the center of the pin by hovering the cursor in the vicinity of the pin center. When the glyph is in the center, click to accept the selection. Next, right click and select between two faces. The second origin indicator is now active, and you need to select the first of the two planar faces on the hinge body. Because the hinge body is symmetrical, you could choose either the inner or outer faces. Select the far inner face. The face highlights, and now you need to select the second planar face. Hover the cursor in the vicinity of the second, hidden inner face and wait until the Select Other display appears. Scroll through the selections until the correct face appears, then select it. Lastly, you need to set the origin on the second part, in this case, the hinge body. Hover your cursor in the hinge body opening and a glyph appears between the hinge body's leaves. Click to set the second origin. You can rotate the model about to make sure things look OK, and when you're all set, click OK to accept the relationship. Now try to rotate the hinge pin. It does not move. This type of joint would be correct for a fixed pin type hinge, but this one is a loose pin and needs to rotate. To fix that, expand the hinge pin part in the browser and notice that a rigid relationship was created. To change that, right-click the relationship and select Edit. From the Joint Type drop-down, select Rotational and watch in the window as the relationship is animated. Click OK to accept the change. Now test the relationship again, and it rotates freely.